what's up guys? Uh, today I'll be talking about building a Citrix lab environment using the latest LTSR release 2402. So let's talk about what I would like all my viewers and subscribers on this channel to achieve. Uh, especially at the end of the series, all of my viewers and subscribers uh, should be able to build, configure, test, and validate a full Citrix stack environment running in high mobility. Let me quickly walk you through the architecture and components of a CVAD environment through this home lab app diagram. So let's talk about what I'm building. As you can see from my diagram, I have laid out every single Citrix component that I'll be going through and configuring them in high mobility, which would normally provide you know, resilience in case of a failure for that particular Citrix component. The CVAD architecture is divided up into layers. All layers flow together to create a complete end-to-end -end solution for an organization. So as you can normally see in the, the diagram, we have a couple of layers uh, uh, that are described. So you can see we got hardware, control, resource, access, user, and operation layer. I'll be touch basing and talking about every single layer in my lab and what I'll normally be achieving uh, from this specific uh, CDs of mine as well. At a very high level, starting from the bottom, First layer, we have we have the hardware layer. Sometimes we also call it the host layer. Uh, this specific layer, uh, this specific layer normally has got the the uh, physical hardware component uh, sitting on it. So in in my in my example, I'm using Zen Server version eight. Uh, it used to normally be called Citrix Hypervisor, uh, but now it's called Zen Server. And I built this Zen server on a DL360 Gen 9 server. The layer above that is the control layer. So as you can only see in the control layer, I'll be building two Citrix delivery controllers uh, configured in HA, uh, along with Citrix FAS configured in high mobility. I'll also have uh, Citrix Vim configured in high mobility. Uh, for SQL Server, uh, which will normally be hosting the Citrix databases, I'll just create a standalone SQL Server uh, 2019 and a single standalone Citrix license server, which will also uh, hold the role of you know, the RDS CALS for Windows Server 2019. Uh, on the infrastructure space, uh, I, I already have an Active Directory, uh, single Active Directory for us configured. And I also do have uh, Active Directory certificate uh, role all installed uh, in that specific uh, environment itself. The layer about that uh, is the resource layer. Now, at this specific layer, the virtual desktops and applications uh, and data provided and data is provided to each and every single user group. What, what I'm going to achieve in this example is I'll be I'll be building some Windows Server 2019 multi-session host and publishing a full desktop up out of these boxes. I would also create a separate published app, Windows Server 2019 box, where I will be publishing a published app. The layer above that is uh, the access layer. Uh, this layer normally describes every single external and internal access to my existing Citrix environment. So in this lab, I've already uh, deployed two net scalers in a pair, pair running version 13.1, along with uh, two Citrix storefront servers, uh, which we would be building in a high ability. And then we'll also be load balancing these storefront servers on the Citrix ADC for uh, resiliency. The last layer, uh, but not the least, is the user layer. This is where normally uh, every single end user environment and endpoint devices normally reside. Going through the agenda, I would be covering step-by-step -step install for all core Citrix components, and I would be configuring each and every single component in high ability. Uh, in the next series, we will start off with configuring and installation of Citrix license server. Thank you everyone for watching this video. Hasta la vista from Citrix Sage. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.